Buckle up, we're in for a bumpy ride. Hey guys, this is Morgan with the Rotoscopers, and today I am giving you a review of the Blu-ray combo pack for Planes, Fire, and Rescue, also known as Planes 2. I had never seen Planes, Fire, and Rescue before getting this Blu-ray DVD, so I was actually kind of excited to watch it because I had heard actually really good things. I know most people hated the first one and they were like, why are they making a sequel? We don't need a sequel. But I kind of liked the first one. I didn't really have a problem with the first one. I thought it was decent, even though it was kind of a rehashing of Cars and Cars 2. Just saying. But I've heard really good things from people who had seen this, so I was excited to give this movie a chance. So for those of you who don't know, Planes, Fire, and Rescue tells the story of Dusty Crophopper. He's our protagonist for the first film, and he kind of made his name as an international racing superstar. But he can't keep that up forever. He's not a racing plane, he's really a crop duster. He's not meant to race around the world in all of these races. And so his body catches up with him, and one day he gets broken, and the part we need to fix him is no longer available. So so there's nothing he can do if he pushes himself too much he'll basically blow up uh, they didn't really put it in those terms but basically so in this moment Dusty really reflects and he's very sad and, and melancholy because you know this was his life dream this has kind of become who he is and now that's stripped away from him and so we have moments that are very sad where he's kind of floating around kind of to try and rediscover himself and then he ends up at Piston Peak with the fire and rescue squad and he sees that there's these incredible vehicles planes cars whatever who are trying to save the wilderness and save you know all the other vehicles and people I guess we don't really ever see people in this world but vehicles everyone they're trying to save everyone from the forest fires and he really it becomes enamored with this lifestyle and he realizes my talents are really good for this and so he becomes part of that and that's where the story goes I can't say that I was totally into this movie I was sort of in and out I wasn't 100% focused all the time I was kind of distracted I just it wasn't so riveting that I had to pay attention and couldn't wait to find out what happens it moves very slow especially you know going through Dusty's issues at the beginning when he's trying to rediscover himself but that thing I really did relate to a lot you know there are things that define us and sometimes those get taken away from us whether it's through an injury or a loss or whatever and we have to learn how to cope and to move on I love that that movie focused on that and that's something I related to all right so let's talk about the bonus features there are actually quite a few I was pretty impressed okay so the first one is an exclusive short it's called vitamin mulch uh, air spectacular and basically it's just a short where uh, vitamin mulch it's a sponsor that makes basically manure and it's hosting this air show and the two stars these big like incredible daredevils didn't show up and it was kind of a tank and a plane and the guy goes to Dusty and the other tank thing I can't remember his name and he says hey we need your help can you help us and so they paint him up and it's a huge disaster and people are like boo and they don't like him and but they kind of uh, through accidents end up making it a pretty good show so I thought that was actually pretty fun. There are a few other shorts on here as well, and one's about Dipper, one's about uh, just the different characters that are new that we meet, and they're sort of just like, hey, it's the day in the life of me. And for Dipper, like she's just, like totally into herself, and she thinks she's a celebrity because she's a certain model of plane. And so I liked those shorts because we got to see a little bit more of their character just amped up. And um, really, really cool. I like seeing those character vignettes. The next bonus feature is called Welcome to Piston Peak. And this is sort of like a, a mockumentary of Piston Peak, which is this wonderful, beautiful wilderness. And it's just kind of like trying to sell people on it. You know, like visit Yellowstone, it was sort of visit Piston Peak. And it shows all the cool things, all the camping grounds. There's this, there's the lodge, there's that. And it just had a lot of film grain and was meant to look older than it was. So I thought that was really cool. I would totally like to go to Piston Peak. I've sold. So the next bonus feature is the Chops TV promo. Now if you have seen the film, you know that one of the characters was involved in a 70s buddy cop TV show. And so this is sort of the TV promo as if you were watching that TV show. Um, I thought it was sort of weird because it wasn't just like one shot. It was, they'd have the same shot really big and then three versions of it on the side. and. Just the way that it was formatted it was kind of weird to me. I didn't quite get what was going on, but... And then randomly it's like someone hit the remote and turned it off and it just stops. I'm like, I 
don't know what I just watched. The next bonus feature is called Air Attack, Firefighters from the Sky, and this is where the director and producer are walking us through kind of their research that they did. They knew nothing about firefighters and the different planes that were involved in stopping wildfires, and so they went out on a research trip, and so they're taking us again and they're showing us just the lifestyles of the men and women who sacrificed their lives for this, and we also got to see the vehicles and, and how that they were able to take that and use that as inspiration for their film. So I liked the, the, the parallel that we were able to see and how they it was very direct um, but at the same time I also learned a lot about the profession I thought that was the most interesting to me and definitely for young children like those are the type of things that I liked watching like let's learn about the firefighters life and it's just a little thing you'd see on you know mr. Rogers and whatnot it kind of reminded me of that so right after that we get to see deleted scenes from the filmmakers and it seems that the filmmakers the director and producer just went out to on location because they are at the same place where the firefighter video was filmed and so I love that, you know, they said, hey, we're going to have these deleted scenes, can you just do some intros real quick? And so we get a little intros about it, and one deleted scene, there's three, and one that really, I'm really glad it was cut, um, after Dusty finds out that he's no longer able to race anymore, they, him and his friends try to cheer him up, and they take him to a bar or a saloon called Honkers. Just think about that. It's a play off Hooters, and the logo is a car winking its headlights, and I'm just like, oh gosh. So distasteful, and I know they were trying to like make it a joke or whatever, but I was just like, really gross. Good thing it got deleted, because it's tacky. And lastly, we get the music video by Spencer Lee for the song Still I Fly. Uh, that includes clips of the movie, and, you know, music videos. Hmm. Alright guys, that is my review. I give the movie two and a half stars. It was good, but I just what, don't have to see it again, let's just put it that way. And the bonus features I'm going to give four stars. They actually did a really, really good job. I liked the little shorts that they made and created for this, as well as we didn't get a typical making of featurette or a director's commentary, but I liked kind of seeing the life of firefighters and, you know, just the different things that they did. It, there were enough different things to make it worth it to me. Alright guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about Planes, Fire, and Rescue, and also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more amazing Blu-ray reviews. Until next time, I'm Morgan, and this is the Rotoscopers YouTube.